Now he's just going to sit on his buttocks and roll across his back right over on top of We like to go right over on top of the guy because we want to set him up for some kind of a, a ground fight. You know, so. Gripping, I want to get this, and I want to get this grip. Okay, this is my setup grip. Okay, so my left hand on here, my right hand up here in about the middle of the back. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to step in, step it across his body. This is coming at his corner, that's why it's called a corner counter. There, there are different, there's another throw called, you know, Kobe Gaishi, that's a different one, but you roll him straight back. This was over his corner, okay, that's why it's called a corner counter. All right, so here we go. And what I'm going to do is just from this position and step in here with my left foot. As I do that, I jam my foot here. That's an important thing. Jam your foot. I'm going to have those guys do it here in a second. But when you do that, it's across his body. See that? Like this. Across the body, and I sit and roll backward. It comes from the side. This is why it's from the corner. See, it's a corner angle. That's really important here. Okay, see the cross grip? Now, there are other ways to do your hands. We're just showing a cross grip version tonight. It's a really effective one. See the back grip here? This is going to be pulling him backward. You'll see that in a moment. When Mike steps in, he steps across his body and he gives a nice big step. Now, if you guys can come around and see this, Mike can jam his foot up. See that jam right up there? That was way. All right, now he's just going to sit on his buttocks and roll across his back right over on top of. We like to go right over on top of the guy because we want to set him up for some kind of a, a ground fight. You know, it's an arm lock, whatever it may be. We want to get on top of it. Let's look at it again. So comes across, jams the foot in, rolls back, comes right on top. Now you can do this without landing on top of the guy, but it really does help if you do. And you, you, you basically put yourself in a big ball. That's what you do. And you bring him along for the ride. That's really what it is. If you step into him, see that across? It sucks him in tight. See how I pull it into my torso here? Like this, and my elbow is down. That's what these guys are doing here. And then jam right there. Now when you jam, your foot is across there. Don't let, the, don't let that hang. This, normally we point our toe down like it throws. This is one time where I want to hook it. I want to hook it like this. Like that. And that hook helps catch his thigh. And I roll him backwards. I want to squat, let it squat on my buttocks. Go down and roll a nice tight little ball, okay? Good. What are you doing? I don't care who does it. Right on top. See that space? He feels that up with his foot. Steps back in, sits, comes right up. Okay, that's corner counter. Assuming you have seen, you like to finish with that because you're on top of him, you can pin him, or you can go right to the juji, which is the perfect situation.